Howdy once again. This is video number four today in Frederick. So as I mentioned, I'm wearing the same clothes. These uh, videos are not gonna post at the same time. So please don't uh, get it mixed up and twisted and think that I, I walk around, I've been walking around all February wearing the same clothes. But I wanted to take one more guys um, today of, uh, and just dedicated to uh, basically to the beautiful downtown Frederick. I just uh, did a video at, um, did two videos at the National Museum for Civil War History, which I highly recommend people visiting. Um, I just did a shorter video at, uh, well, it's the Maryland School for the Deaf, but it is the remains of um, both the, the same building, being both the uh, former Hessian barracks um, from the Revolutionary period, and um, a little bit later on than that, was the building was used as um, as uh, Fre uh, Frederick General Hospital Number One during the Civil War. Of course, there were about 40 hospitals here in uh, Frederick around that time, but uh, what's left of the barracks um, constitutes uh, all that really remains standing and uh, was also the primary hospital um, during the Civil War for a number of battles. So now I'm just gonna take a quick walk. Oh, I should have got a shot of that mural. I'm gonna take a quick walk through uh, downtown Frederick, which I strongly urge people to come see. Now, this is not a small town. I do lots of small towns. Um, Frederick is a modest sized city up here in Northern Maryland. And it's uh, kind of a standout because there aren't that many modest sized cities. Of course, once you leave central uh, Maryland, uh, Rockville and Baltimore and, and places like that. Um, <clears throat> but Frederick is a, uh, a modest sized city. It is absolutely worth of uh, you visiting. Um, there's certainly a lot to see and do. And it's a very, very pretty, a, a, an old city, but a very pretty town. Um, as you can plainly see, quite quaint, lots of uh, cute, charming colored row homes. This is what I wanted to show you on this side of the street. A lot of great murals, a lot of artwork around town that you'll see. Really, really cool, really, really pretty. Um, I am on South Market Street, so um, this isn't quite the center of the action. Um, oh, you just ran a red light, girl. Um, not the South Market isn't quite the um, center of downtown, although we're kind of coming up on it. Um, I want to kind of want to cross again. I'm just gonna jaywalk. Ooh! Don't tell anybody. So, um, very beautiful down here. We're in basically one of the things I wanted to show you the most was this really really cute park. Um, I think it's called Carroll Creek Park, um, but it's a real treat. It's a real gem of the town, as you'll see. But, um, you know, of course, uh, Civil War-wise, there's a lot to see. There's the uh, uh, Museum of Civil War His uh, Medicine, as I mentioned. There are the Hessian Barracks. Um, there's also Monocacy National Battlefield just down the street, just outside of town, on the south side of town. But there's, there, there's still more to see and do. Um, you have Mount Olivet Cemetery. Uh, which I did a film at and as you folks know um, is uh, the final resting place of many Confederate soldiers who fought in battles in this area but um, that there's still more to see and do even apart from Civil War stuff um, if you've got kids there's a uh, urban air and trampoline park on the west side of town um, a little bit north of that you've got the uh, Schifferstadt uh, Architectural Museum um, let me see you've got the uh, a Weinberg Center uh, good wing spot there apparently you've got a Weinberg Center for Performing Arts um, so it is a city it is a true city um, it's an older one but there uh, it's up to date you know what I mean it's 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 keeping with the times um, <clears throat> and there's a uh, there are a lot of other uh, cultural things to see and do here as well um, in addition of course as many Marylanders know uh, look at that light I just love this uh, this light, this time of day and time of year. The, the quality of the light as photographers uh, is just the best. We dream about this kind of light. Look at the shot of this street. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, but there is certainly a lot to see and do down here as well as um, folks know from the area uh, who are from around here, there are tons and tons of restaurants in downtown Frederick. I mean, you know what, per square mile, I would venture to say it probably has more restaurants. Let me think about this. Than most other places in central Maryland exempting the city of Baltimore. Um, 
you know, if you condensed uh, a lot of Howard County, um, Columbia in particular, if you could condense that all into one area, it might kind of rival it. But there are tons of great restaurants here in Frederick. Um, much like um, Howard County, as well as I've mentioned the folks, um, look at this old brick. Uh, much like Howard County, it's funny, in Maryland, the, all the breweries in Marin, uh, Maryland, which, you know, I'm a fan of, are kind of all located in only a couple places. It's, it's, I don't know, you know, it's not that the other areas are dry towns or anything or have a rule against breweries, but they just happen to sprout up mostly in a couple key areas. One of those is the city of Baltimore. One of those is Howard County. Um, much so in Columbia, but the, you've got some other ones spread out. And then there are a ton of breweries here in, in, in Frederick as well. Um, breweries, brew houses, ale houses, what have you. Some that brew their own beer on the site. Um, some that um, do not, but serve great gastropub type of food. And uh, sorry about the wind. And, uh, and and serve a lot of great local beers and stuff. So we are kind of at the. Uh, sorry about the wind. I don't have a. I don't have a mic baffle. Um, this is the Carroll Creek Park, and this is what I wanted to show you. It is the cutest thing in the world. So we have a. Uh, I, I guess you call this a canal. I'm not sure ex exactly why it was originally constructed, um, but it is the cutest thing in the world. So this is kind of what I really wanted to show you. Um, at some point, I may do a a a, 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 a big, a bigger, better, whatever walking tour um, of kind of the downtown heart of Frederick, um, which is you know really just kind of down the street. Um, but look at that. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful down here. It's just beautiful down here as, as with uh, many other places in Maryland. Oh, this is a turtle. I didn't even notice that. Um, I, I highly would like to uh, urge people to come down here and check it out, pay them a visit. <clears throat> There's a lot to see and do, like I said. Um, your main points are kind of uh, Market Street. Uh, of course, again, I'm on South Market Street right now, which of course turns into North Market Street not too long. Um, and then the, the biggest cross street with Market Street would be Patrick Street, uh, East Patrick and West Patrick Street. And there is just a ton to do in, in this general area, downtown Frederick. Um, as far as Patrick Street goes, um, East Patrick Street has a little bit less to it, but West Patrick Street is great. Um, that's what they call the Golden Mile around here. And there are lots of restaurants down there on the Golden Mile. Let me see if I can take you for a walk alongside this is just the cutest thing in the world <clears throat> um west patrick street there's a lot of shopping and dining and also on west patrick street we have uh what i very strongly consider to be um one of the best uh used bookstores um really here in maryland or uh, actually extending a bit further than that because as many of you might imagine i'm i'm, I'm pretty familiar with uh, the bookstore situation uh here in maryland dc northern virginia south central pennsylvania and uh wonder book i'm sorry didn't even name it wonder book and video um mm. is absolute i i think it's the best the best uh both in terms of quantity and in terms of the quality of their books um so that is on west patrick street in the golden mile it's just kind of off downtown but it is absolutely worth you checking out if you are a bookworm um because you cannot go wrong there's tons of everything there's tons of popular stuff but tons of history um tons of local history books and 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 rare vintage books um which usually aren't cheap you know but are harder to find and and are certainly worth the money in many cases depending on your interest so wonder book and video on west patrick street is a uh, is a big winner in my book and and almost a reason in itself to come down here but i just wanted to show you these uh these cute floats here in uh in uh i'm sorry uh carroll creek park Look at this. It's just great. I'm actually getting to nine minutes, so that's about perfect, guys. I was going to wrap it up in a second anyhow. Got a little bit of music here. Oh, my gosh, it just keeps going and going. I didn't realize it's uh, extending back this far. I'm going to walk for just about another minute. A very charming city. A very 
quaint city if there is such a thing. Um, you know, okay, you know, uh, you know, Frederick's not perfect. It's got its things, um, like any other city. Uh, I dare say um, crime is, is pretty much on the low end. You do have a little crime in any city that you'll ever go to in this country or anywhere in this world. But, um, you know, Frederick keeps it uh, pretty under control. And, um, and, you know, if you're, again, into history or just historic places and towns and cities and like to walk on brick streets uh, and sidewalks and cobblestone and, and see a lot of stone buildings and beautiful architecture around you, Frederick is certainly a great place to be and to go. So, up oh, ten and a half minutes. I guess I'm uh, just about at the end of it, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But um, just wanted to give you a shot of uh, a little bit of downtown and uh, mostly of this wonderful and charming Carroll Creek Park. This is just something else. Great place to take your kids. Um, you know, downtown is very, very safe. No worries there. Um, great place to come and visit, guys. So that is about it. And I'll see you on the next one.